Hey guys, in this video we're going to look at two transform tools in GIMP 2.9. We're going to first of all start with the handle tool. Now just to explain what I'm doing here, I'm trying to create a design where this image is kind of breaking apart and it's casting a shadow into its background. The background is this uh, design here, this gradient. We're going to take this shadow layer and we're going to transform it using the handle tool. I've set the image opacity in the handle tool to 50% and you'll see why that's necessary just now. I'm going to click in the top right hand corner and that adds a little um, icon there that allows me to do some transformation. We'll add four more at the corners and let me just turn the layer on so we can see what we're doing. We'll move the corners so that they match the rest of the design. So it's a good old distortion transformation. And with everything matched up like that, it doesn't need to be perfect for this particular layer because this is going to be blurred anyway. We'll hit transform. And we can now continue with the Unified Transform tool. This is the Unified Transform tool. It's Shift L. That's the shortcut for it. And I've also chosen image opacity of around 50%. Now with this one, I'm going to have to call up the grid. So I've gone to Image, Configure Grid, and I've given it a spacing of 200 and a dashed appearance. And we're going to go to Show view show grid and what I want to do now is to transform all the layers so that they have a kind of a rotation uh, on them so we'll start off with the shadow and I just want to transform this bit here the one that's highlighted yellow and I want to move it so that it lines up with the grid just there we'll hit transform we'll do the same for the photo and this should give us similar transformation in all these cases. And the next thing is to continue with the breakout design. So I'm just going to very quickly show you what that looks like. We'll move the border so that it's up there somewhere. The photo is going to move up a little bit as well and the shadow is going to move down. We'll go to layer, layer to image size, and then we'll give the shadow a fairly decent Gaussian blur of about 30. And I'm going to now reduce the opacity, opacity to about 90%. So that gives us this nice looking kind of breakout effect where it looks as though the border, the photo and its shadow are all kind of like spreading out in 3D space. That's going to be it. I hope you found that useful and I think these transform tools look quite interesting in GIMP 2.9. We'll see you in the next video where I finish off with looking at the new grouping options and also some of the blend modes associated with groups.